Hi guys, welcome to another uh, For Your Information build video. Um, you'll notice I did not stream any Hero League tonight, and that is because I don't want to deal with the insanity that's going on right now. And also, I've not been making enough of these videos. I've only done 23 out of the like 60-something characters that we have. Um, now, to, I know I'm 24 videos in and I'm establishing why I make these videos, but these are designed to help you learn the character. If you're looking for the most meta builds or one for Hero League, watch streams don't watch build videos they are just purely designed to give you an idea of what the strongest build on a character is if you're trying to get into a character or trying to learn what people are playing then these type of videos are great but the whole point of my entire series is not to give you master grandmaster level play because obviously that's not me but it's also because I don't really think that's why people come to my channel. I mean, I only have 31 people, but I don't think that's why. Um, hopefully I'm fun and interesting, but today we're going to be playing Genji. Uh, it can be slightly out of order. You're going to see a whole flood of videos to the channel, because now I'm going to go back to the series. We completed all the medium warriors, and now we're going to go into the medium difficulty... They added that. Medium difficulty uh, warriors. So there's going to be a lot of warriors in the channel. Which actually be kind of fun. Um... Like, 90% of them are medium difficulty. And also, you'll see uh, the title changing. I'm not going to be putting easy build video. Because things get updated, I'm just going to put latest build. So that way you just know it's up to date with the current patch. Which is why I want to get through this as fast as possible. So that's easy for me to go back and talk about characters like uh, Stitches who have been changed. So, uh, yeah, that's the whole long gated intro. So, we're just going to get into it. Alright, welcome back to Dragonshire, everybody. So, uh, friendly team he is Genji, Varian, Cassia, Ragnos, Toronto versus Raynor, ETC, Zarya, Malthiel, Alarak. It's also the other reason I don't think if you are... Actually, well, people are probably going to go mid. Uh, why I don't think you guys should be trying to use build videos in quick match to really help you in here early, because you're going to get team comps like this. Uh, so we're going to go swift as wind. Gotta do, gotta do this, Ben. Uh, Q is our shurikens. They are based on ammo, so I have three charges. I can use all three, and then once they are going to be returned, they're going to return at the same time. My E is my finisher. We're not really going to use this to engage too much unless we have a really good opportunity to do so. Uh, w is deflect. I believe we block all damage. Let me just make sure... Yeah. Now we don't return. That was really bad. That was really bad. Okay. The ancient shrines awaken. Okay. D was that cyber agility you saw me use, which is basically it's a slight little little jump. And as you can see, I'm like without even really Participating in fights, I'm running at half health. Thankfully, these bushes have been taken away, so ganks are a little bit harder in this map. Now, we are going into a 5 stack. They have double tank. We don't have a tank. Almost very in. Almost very in. Okay, he's going into typical build. Our damage will get a lot better. Gonna tap here. Uh, what are you doing? Let's finish this quickly. Okay. Let's try to. We got two people mid, no one top. Cool. Always fun to queue into a five man. Um, My never gonna go shuriken mastery. Cool. 
I needed the extra damage, so that may have looked a little funny. Uh, Shuriken Mastery Base, if we hit 35 heroes, we're going to get some more damage. If we hit 70 total, our double jump is going to... Our Cyber Agility, I call it a double jump because it reminds me of a platformer, is going to allow us to um, reset two charges of our Shurikens, which gives us a lot of burst damage. Okay. Chase me. I would like that orb, please. Thank you. Wow. Oh, man. Okay. My fault. I'm not great at clearing these, but since I'm here. Okay. We saved the tower. I'm out of mana. really don't need that many people mid. Alright, already at 16 stacks. Honestly, just did that for the lulls. <laughs> that killed me. Ah, she hit me with a part of grenade. So I got hit by him. Put me go with the spell armor. I know that sounds weird, but uh, spell, 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 technically spell. I actually don't know if uh, Malthiel's stuff counts as spell. Okay. Gonna go back bottom. Yeah, because you overextended. Big surprise. Okay, so what we're gonna be going for today... So as you can see, you can kind of overextend a little bit and get away with it, which is pretty nice. I'm trying to be a little more aggressive, because we don't really have much of a choice. Yeah, going against a uh, 5 stack uh, with Genji, you can actually have a pretty good impact, impact on the game, which is why he was so popular in HGC. Now, good for us. I wonder if Hill was on cooldown. We almost got him, but uh, I was kind of hoping I could get a heal. wonder if she went... Oh, she's not even going to healing. Okay, I need to be aware of that. So... I'm kind of just goofing. I don't mean to, like, I know that sounds funny going into a video, uh, but I'm trying to kind of experiment with how much I can get away with, which is what I suggest doing uh, in Quick Match. So the better ultimate is Dragon Blade, but that's on a coordinated team where you're going to get some protection because I am squishy. Turn around to try to kill me. Kept him in. We're at 30. Oh. So now we're at 38. That, how long that gap closes is so good. Really allows you to do stuff like that where, like, even with a Zer tool, you really can't get away with that. Top. Um, I 
Oh yeah, buddy. Okay. So I was trying to predict with the X Strike. A little low on mana. Uh, what I was attempting to do there with X Strike is if you can hit it, it does a ton of damage. Um, was actually able to keep him in, which was nice. Now, not doing too bad on damage. Their team is doing very well on damage. Make sure I want to see myself in my picture here. I'm literally not in it. That was the weirdest thing. Did you guys see that? Okay, so we're going to go with a second charge. Because uh, we want to be able to jump jump. Um... Wow. That's a pretty big misplay, actually. That took way too long. Okay, cool. That's a weird mistake, to be honest. Um, yeah, I'm not sure where to be here. I like that, though. Giving a little more room for the Dragon Knight. Okay, still haven't put the man. You just wasted that. Usually you try to be a little more creative with it. I'm surprised she just kind of went like, you know, like I said, YOLO. Okay, so there's nothing... Ooh, no, he's dead. Um, hip. So we're doing pretty good on our quest. It's actually not that hard to complete once we get into the proper team fights. Alright, so we're going to go mid. How's Cassius doing? Nice. I haven't really been able to watch... Ooh. That was really, really, like, um, not smart. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go for final cut, because it's just a little bit of extra damage and in lane clear. Which Genji's not terrible at, but I'm not amazing at. So we kind of go through... And since I see him rotating. How are we doing? No, no, she's, she's dead. But... You did not die in vain. Alright. Two away, unfortunately, from getting our procs of... I was actually expecting him there. Yes, please, stagger this. That's perfect. See, and as you can see, like, if you're not careful as the enemy team, like, it, I'm not doing ridiculous amounts of damage here. Um, but it's really, it's the same reason why Zeratul is so powerful, is because it's when the damage happens. The damage is happening when they are so vulnerable, and that is a, a what I really like about the character. And I don't really think it needs, a lot needs to be changed. I think the problem we're running into is, um, Overwatch heroes are so fast. 
Like, if you think about Genji, like, Zarya's the only one that's not. But she's so tanky that she uh, really makes up for her lack of mobility. Just gonna jump again. Let me use these before it refreshes. Do you just wasted another dragon knight for no friggin' reason? Okay, so I'm gonna just go clear top. weird like my character just stopped I was trying to jump back in but I should have known that I didn't expect the Dragonite to follow me Yeah, that's really all I want. Why aren't we... Okay. Why are we just giving... What? Uh, no, see, the pro... So, the weird part about quick matches is, is... Yeah, it was a bad death, but if I say, why are we giving top for no reason? Um, they'll be like, oh, you just died. And it's like, well, okay, yeah, you're right. But, like... It's a really good question. Like, why are we just... Why do we just give a fort for free? I mean, also, another valid question is why did anybody take... Hold on. Darn. Okay. And as you can see, it's pretty spammable now. Power gathers within the shrine. I'm gonna go help Varian. Ooh. Actually, I'm not. Until I. S they're getting collapsed on. Okay, so. We're actually going to go for Shuriken Pierces. Typically, I wouldn't suggest that. Alright, guess we're not getting that. Um, he is very dead. One, two, three, four. So there might be someone up here. They don't have 20 yet. We still have a camp pushing. This delays any attempt they can get to get D-Knight a little bit longer. I'm going to come help. Trying to keep an eye on my character though because of the fact they are a 5 man. Okay. Just going to tap. Please, please, please be careful. Alright, and clearing the wave. Sweet, this actually gives us plenty of time. Now we need to be careful of ganks. I want to save mid here. Because that's where the fight... Everybody top. Everybody top. It, uh, no one's going to listen to me, so... Uh, I didn't want to be dismounted there. Okay, so we're very split. Varian is by himself top. We see two mid. Going to go the safe way here. Yeah, follow me. So glad we have this ultimate. It's 
so good. Um, all right, well, I don't know what we were doing there. It was one dude, I literally had him down to nothing. So this is actually a problem, this is a useless camp. It really comes down to a team fight, and it's just as easily uh, you could get collapsed on. Now, I thought we were all together. I didn't realize we'd all peeled off to take on... They have Rainer, right? Yeah, to take on Rainer. Yeah, but I have ATC and like 20 health. But in game we need two videos. Alright. I'm actually not too bad at taking camps. I'm not amazing at it. Um, and honestly, this can't. Uh, I have time. Actually, no. Um, I'm going here. Because now I'm going to put pressure on mid. Man, I must be really annoying if they're willing to ignore D Knight to focus me. Dude, are you serious? What a waste! Nice, I didn't know that's how that worked. That is really good to know. Man. We just keep wasting Dragon Knights. Like this is a 21 minute Dragon Knight. That's actually a huge bummer. Uh, yeah, that's what I figured. Nice try though. Good thought. So now this is actually a good time for him to be getting camps. And the reason I say that is because there's about to be another Dragon Knight. So getting a camp now, nope, nope, stay with the team, please. Again, splitting up by himself. Yeah. Good play, by the way, by the ETC. So they knew we were all clearing camp. They were able to get all four. This is also what happens as five. Um, now, this is a good delay on his part, but 
That's the unfortunate part. Like we don't have any. Um, if we had Ragnaros actually not part of the team doing that lava wave, he could have um, interrupted. Now I also don't have a problem with him not backing because he can't stop this. He's not. Up. But um, that play really only happens when you're dealing with the five men. But I mean, it's a really good play. But hopefully you got to see how Varian, or Varian, Genji's actually pretty good. Able to do a lot of disruption, I mean. That's actually pretty funny. Um, I, I, there's nothing reportable about that behavior, but it's like, what do you, like... I mean, I, so this is also my problem with uh, Quick Match. And to an extent, um, by the way, that was great. And Mosh, I should have voted for him. Uh, to an extent, unranked is people just don't care. And it makes it hard. And that's why I say don't really go into my videos thinking this is um, play that is a great example of the character because this is not a typical team. We went in and had a Dragon Blade Varian, or a, a Twin Blade Varian, which, what are you doing? Um, great play by the... Um, Great play by the Cassia. Um, very, very good player. Um, damage was not nearly as high because typically what I'm able to do with this build is, uh, and usually I have a tank and someone who was just wanted to fight, which I I wish there was a literal brawl mode where you could just go in and be to, do team deathmatch so these people could just go do that so I could have a little bit of a better practice field and better uh, arena to kind of show you how characters work. So... Um, well, the reason why I don't like unranked or quick match, as I said, is you get stuff like this. Where we're going into the ETC and Azaria. Now, they did Q as this, but it stuck us with only a variant. And I would like, I don't want mirror matches, but it's its easier to practice and get used to new heroes. Or heroes that you like to play in a setting that, like, I would actually prefer these to be five assassins. Because Gandhi's very good in that situation. Um, but we went swift as the wind. When we hit an enemy hero, this is for chasing. Uh, we're able to get a little bit more movement speed. Shuriken Mastery, there's nothing else at that tier. Some people in Hero League or in competitive can do basically the cooldown reduction and do what they call it a jokingly a ping pong build where it's all E focus. Now, I highly suggest when you're first learning this character or in Hero League to go with something more akin to this build. You don't have to uh, reflect it necessarily because uh, uh, reflect can be pretty good. I'm not saying this, but in general, the w is pretty good uh but there's nothing else at this tier that i think is as good when you are having to rely on yourself uh went uh cyber agility getting the spell armor when we used rd um into dragon Bl or excuse me x strike i keep calling it dragon blade dragon blade is like i said the better ultimate but i would have just died if i used it uh into double jump because we're wanting to get not only the spell armor but to get more shurikens into final cut for lane clear and also into um a little extra damage, a little extra finishing into Sharpened Stars because of how they were stacking up. Um, wasn't able to get a lot of value out of that. Love the end play by the ATC. That was so good. I can't even be mad. Um, so yeah, that's Genji. I think he's... I don't remember if I actually got any new skins for him. I did not. Uh, but he's really, really good. A lot of fun. I highly suggest if you like Zeratul, Illidan, or just really highly mobile characters, this is a really fun one to play. Um, I don't know how they're going to... Let's say balance him uh, because his pick rate in a, the mid-season brawl for HUC, which you have not, if you have not been watching, you should have watched. It's now on a bunch of odds. The finals are tomorrow. Tomorrow, I think, or Monday. Don't remember. Um, there's more play mo Sunday. I just don't remember if it ends tomorrow. But it really showcases how good Genji is, um, unlike myself, because you know I love the character and I'm pretty darn good at him. Um, but it's hard when you're constantly four v fiving and people are just dying all over the place. But um, like I said, if you're wanting to pick up the character, try my build because it gives you the most ability to poke. Um, for for not, you know, uh, bad damage. I'm able to usually do more when I can use my ult. I had to hold on to it a lot because I just would have jumped in and died. Uh, but anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. We're going to have a lot of warrior videos on the channel over the next week or so because i got to get all through the medium difficulty warriors. So, um, yeah, that'll be the next like six videos but i enjoy warriors so i'm gonna have fun with it but uh 